Hey everybody, it's Dr. Jones from Kinetic Physical Therapy and Wellness and I'm just reaching out to you because I thought at the end of the year what a great time to look back at what we've done this year together for 2022 and also to take a moment to look forward to 2023 to see what's coming. Uh, before we do that, let me just say thank you for trusting us with your care. And we realize that you can go anywhere for your therapy and wellness services. That wouldn't be as good, but we realize that you can go anywhere. So uh, we appreciate you trusting us with your care. Um, you know, 2022 was like, uh, it really was like the first year in a while since we've had a sense of norm, you know, since the pandemic. And so, uh, you know, like everybody else, we made a lot of adjustments. And then even last year, we made some pretty big changes. Now, one of the biggest changes that we made is where I'm standing. This is what we call our phase two. Uh, a year ago, this time, we had just finished construction in the phase two gym uh, that we're standing in. And um, that led to a lot of changes here at Kinetic. And you've been on that journey with us as we made those changes. And so I wanna share some of those with you as we look back. Now, one of the things that we have done is we added uh, two more physical therapists. Now, they are both uh, orthopedic specialists and they've they're all on board and they're a part of the team now. But that was a big deal because it allows us to see more people. Now we're only going to see one, we're going to see people one-on-one. -on -one. And so, uh, you know, we, it's important that we have enough therapists to be able to see everybody. And so we would add those other physical therapists to the team. Uh, we also added another occupational therapist. Uh, and so she is working along with our uh, other therapists who are already here and they specialize in upper extremity, and hand injuries and things like that. And so that was a necessary addition to the team as well, but we needed the space to do it, right? Uh, we also added two more massage therapists. Now I know all of you that come for massage and reflexology are excited about that uh, because one of the things we have here is a wellness membership. And that, that program allows you to be entitled to a monthly service, whether it's a 60 minute massage or a 90 minute reflexology. Well, as the wellness members increase we needed more people to work with people right so uh, we, we're up to i think 166 wellness members now uh, and so you all when y'all want to come in y'all are ready to come in right so we uh we've got two more massage therapists uh, so that's been a big deal and so adding extra spaces has allowed us to be able to add those additional services so that's been a wonderful thing uh, we've also added a dietitian or nutritionist however you say it uh, that's a really big deal. That's a part of really what we believe is a part of what should be uh, essential in our health care. And uh, our dietitian, Sharon, she's really, really good. Um, she is one of the only certified diabetes educators uh, as a nutritionist in the area. Uh, and so she's come in, she's joined the team, and uh, she's, she's been teaching and sharing with our team here about uh, proper nutrition. She's been going in the community and doing it as well. And so she's been a wonderful addition to the team. Uh, we added two more, two more uh, personal trainers, uh, and that's been great because that helps to complete uh, some of our wellness look so that when people finish therapy, they can continue exercising and things like that. And it also allows you all to come in, even if you're not doing therapy, maybe you just want to get in shape, you know, maybe you just want to drop some pounds and things like that. That's what our personal trainers do. And so we, they've got all this space to, to torture you into feeling better and looking better and all that stuff that you want to do. Uh, so we did that. And uh, we also added a sports performance coach. Huge deal, uh, because we were seeing a lot of athletes for therapy, but then we would see that people wanted to get, they wanted to work on their skill, their power, their speed, agility. And so adding our sports performance coach allowed us to do that, and we have the space to do it. And so we've been working with uh, many local athletes in one-on-one, -on -one, whether they're in soccer, I think we've had volleyball, we've had track, football, baseball, uh, pickleball, that's the new thing now as well. So we've had all of these things where we're working with athletes of all ages and uh, having this extra space has really allowed us to do that as well. And so we were able to add additional team members to the team because we had the space to put them in and now we can offer the services to you. Uh, what else have we done? Um, we added more aquatics classes. So uh, if you don't know, we have a pool here. It's a heated pool and uh, it's a small group class. So you're looking at four, maybe five people, but it's usually about four people we try to keep in the class. And we had that class, initially it was just two days a week. Well, it filled up pretty fast. Uh, and so the, the uh, class participants said, look, you gotta add some more classes. So we said, all right, let's do it. So we went Monday through Friday. Every day, one o'clock, we got a quietest class. Well, that started filling up and some people said, I want evenings. All right, let's go for it. So we added evenings as well. So we got Tuesday and Thursday evenings. 
Uh, but we were able to add those additional classes because we had more space for the other services to come in. And so that's really been a, a benefit to us and to you as well to be able to add those classes. Uh, let's see, what else have we done this year? Oh, we added our athletic combines. Uh, so if you don't know what that is, an athletic combine is just when people who play sports or are interested in sports or just maybe they're really active, they want to get an idea of where they stand in comparison to other athletes. And so what we do is we test their speed through sprint testing. We test their agility and how quickly you can move from side to side. Uh, we check out their endurance, how far they can jump, how high they can jump. I mean, we put them through the ringer of tests and we get a printout of their scores to them and they can compare that to other people who are of the same age, who play the same sport. And that's our athletic combine. And so with the new space, we've been able to add that. We do it here in the gym. We do it in our courtyard where we've got artificial turf out there as well. And so that's been a big hit. So we're looking forward to doing uh, even more of those next year as well. Uh, and then finally, we started just this year, our fitness boot camp. And you know what that is. That's when you get with a group and you want to get in shape. And so we get here and burn it up. And so we've got a small group. And uh, the nice thing about the fitness boot camp is, is that it is, um, it's all ages, all sizes, all fitness levels and we're able to adjust to different people's needs and so uh, this space allows us to do that and in particular as the year started where we were really still being quite careful with COVID it allowed people to come in and still spread out uh, and be a part of that as well so uh, those are some of the services we added just this year that's like in one year in 2022 so really this has been a big year transition together that we've experienced and uh, you all have been patient with us because you know we had to figure this out too how to offer the services we had to learn new software we've got two entrances now so uh, we had to figure that stuff out together and you all have been so kind and patient with us as we are figuring it out and have figured it out uh, so that's what 2022 has looked like for us and uh, we're glad that you've been on that journey now check out 2023 plans this is what we're looking forward to uh, for the year ahead number one uh, we want to improve our combine testing you know the athletic combine that i was just telling you about we want to improve that and so we've got some uh improved technology we're now using some timing gates there's like some uh so uh, if you're into technology you'll love this right so if you cross a certain finish line there's lasers that will actually start and stop your timing so it allows us to be more accurate uh, because what a lot of the athletes do with their scores they can take that especially those who are in high school that are looking to playing college sports, they want to take those scores and say, hey, y'all need to be recruiting me, check out my scores, you know? And so we're trying to make sure we're more accurate with that. So that's one of the things that we're adding this year. We're also adding more Saturdays for our wellness members. Uh, so for the wellness members, we know that you want to get in here when you're ready to get that massage. And so we've added some more days. So since we have more therapists, we're adding Saturdays. Now that is exclusive to our wellness members. And that is so that we can uh, fulfill our promise to make sure you get that monthly service for your massage or your reflexology. So we'll have more of that this year. So we're also going to make some updates to our locker rooms and our shower area. So uh, here's one of the things we discovered. So when we, when we built this building in phase one, we added a pool. That was always our plan. And so we have a heated salt water pool. But one of the things we didn't realize is salt water wears things down. If you go to the beach and just look around, you can see what salt water does to things. And it's something that we just did not, we just didn't realize early on. I mean, we still would have done the salt water pool, uh, but we've learned that uh, over time, that salt water is gonna wear things down. And so we gotta make some updates and upgrades uh, because over time it wears the locker rooms and the showers down. So that's one of the things we wanna do next year is we wanna upgrade and update our showers and our locker rooms so that it's uh, just more convenient, more comfortable for you all, uh, more functional for you all as well. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, we also want to add counseling next year. Now, let me pause here for a second, because that's a big deal, at least to us, because in our opinion, healthcare is this. It is how you eat, how you move, and how you think. And so we just feel like if we can close that circle to include counseling, that will address the part of how you think. And so we're really looking forward to adding that next year. So knock on wood, if we can get that, that'll, that'll help us to really um, complete our, our idea or our concept of what wellness is. And so we're looking forward to adding counseling uh, as we move to next year. Hey, if you're a counselor and you're watching this, come re reach out to me because <laughs> we want you on the team. Uh, but we're really looking forward to uh, adding some a, a compassionate 
caring counselor because that's what the culture is here. So that's what we're looking to do next year. Uh, we're also going to add senior wellness assessments. Now, what is that? That is an opportunity for our senior citizens in the community to come through and just like we're doing athletic combine testing, you all have some testing too. You know, we believe age is nothing but a number. So uh, no matter what your age, you can get better. And so the, uh, the senior wellness assessments give you an opportunity to come in and check out like your balance, your mobility, uh, your flexibility, your strength and your power as well. And we're gonna be doing those throughout the year. Now, first one is February 18th. You'll hear about it. We'll put it on social media. We'll send it through email and things like that. Uh, but we'll be looking forward to adding that in our, our normal routine of services and programs that we offer next year. Uh, and then the final thing we're going to have is we're going to have our continued uh, half marathon, our 5K and one mile fun run. Now we've been having that, but we're looking forward to improving that in the upcoming year. And so every year that we have it, we reach out to you all to get feedback in terms of what we can do to make it better and more efficient. And so we're going to take that feedback and, and improve it. We're going to add that to this year. So we'll have bigger signs, you know, more prizes and things like that, more water stations, all the things that matter to people who are running and walking. And so we're looking forward to making those changes. And uh, so that's, what's, that's what we have ahead as we look forward to 2023. Uh, again, I just want to say thank you for trusting us with your care. We're looking forward to a good year together as we help you to live well, to move more, and hurt less.